I'm here in Southampton about to board Piano Cruises Britannia on a five night cruise to the Netherlands and Belgium. All right, well, I made it to my cabin. Um, I've got to say there's a lot of stairs up to deck 16, uh, but we made it. This is where I'm going to be staying. So this is a solo balcony cabin, and we're going to have a quick look at it now. So when you come in, this is what it looks like. Um, just behind here, look at this bed, look. That's a nice size bed for a single. That's bigger than I was expecting. Um, you've got your desk, you've got your TV, but look at this balcony here, look. That's definitely bigger than I was expecting. If you have a look over there, you can see three other ships. Uh, ready to go let me just zoom that in so you got there's an ncl ship uh, msc and an ada ship as well and of course we have the bathroom look at this look hey look it's me hey uh but look at this look i've never in all my all the cruises i've done i've never had a glass door shower it's always been those plastic shower curtains um so that's quite cool actually Oh, well, that's pretty much it. Um, it's not a lot to show you. It's not a massive room, but um, I will be doing a room tour in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but what I think I'm going to do now is go to the buffet because I'm starving at the minute. <laughs> and uh, hopefully when I come back, uh, my luggage will be here and um, we'll be ready to unpack and do all that exciting stuff. So um, let's go get some food. <laughs> All right, so I've just come back from the buffet. Um, it was very busy in there, so I couldn't really record anything. Um, but I had um, some curry, which you saw. Um, it was very tasty. It was a bit cold, though. Um, but I guess, you know, on an embarkation day, they're very busy and stuff. And I had some prawns and some salad as well, which was nice, which would hopefully see me through till tea time. But yeah, I'm back in the cabin because uh, I've got to charge everything up, unfortunately. Um, and I've, I looked on the TV because they show you the, um, the weather forecast. I'm just going to show you here. The weather forecast which we're looking at so um <laughs> a lot of rain <laughs> a lot of rain it be a lot of rain this holiday so i've got a bit of time here whilst i wait for my luggage to arrive and also uh, for my device charge so i thought we're going to have a more in-depth look at the cabin that i'll be staying in Well, guess what's just arrived? Oh, where is it? There it is. <laughs> we'll keep that in, that's fine. Um, well, I guess I better unpack now. Um, uh, uh. So this is my wardrobe, so everything's unpacked. Uh, but you can see that there's this um, table here. But a lot of my clothes go longer. If that kind of makes sense so they're not i can't put them here because they won't hang properly so they have to be here so they're all scrunched up here and there's like one thing here all right not the most interesting thing i know but there you go um i'm just looking outside it looks like the weather's beginning to turn already um there you go you can see the clouds coming in and everything so what i'm planning to do from my i believe that the ncl ship is leaving first and that should be leaving in about half an hour and then we should be going about half an hour after that. So, oh, hang on. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Officer of the Watch speaking from the bridge, and I'd like to wish you all a very warm welcome on board Britannia. This is to advise that at five o'clock this afternoon, which is in 30 minutes' time, yeah. the ship's alarm bells will be sounded and announcements made 
as all newly embarked guests are familiarised with the ship's emergency procedures. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, they've done something a bit different on this one, where you come on, you board on the ship, and you go straight to your muster station. Uh, the TV's gone. Um, <laughs> you go straight to your muster station, which is pretty cool, um, because I've never done that before. I normally have to go, and you sort of miss the sail away, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, what I was saying was that you've got the, the NTL ship. I believe it's the NTL star. Um, that should be going, oh, look at that fog coming in, man. That's going to be terrible. Um, but that should be going in about half an hour's time at five o'clock and then i believe we're going at half five so my plan is that i'm gonna stay here because i got a good shot of the ship as it leaves and then i could get a nice time lapse of us leaving and then i'm going to the buffet because i'm hungry again <laughs> you know what I mean? there's been a few hours but i'm hungry again um i think it's when you know the food's available you just you're just always hungry Bye, England. Well, I think it's time for the buffet, isn't it? God, that dinner was nice, but it's a bit wet out here. I think we'll go explore the ship, though. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of day one, embarkation day on the Piano Britannia. Um, hopefully the weather improves later on in the holiday because it hasn't been great to us today, but um, that's just one of those things, I guess. Um, my first impression of the ship is that I really like being on a ship that's completely different from anything else I've been on. Um, that's really cool, and I think my room's cool as well. I like being on deck 16, you know, close to the buffet um, <laughs> as well. That's a bonus. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we're in Rotterdam, 
which will be cool. We're staying there overnight, um, which will be cool. Um, so I look forward to exploring there. And I'm going to get a somewhat early night tonight because um, the clocks are going forward tonight, which is the bad one. That's when you lose an hour of sleep. It's never good to lose an hour of sleep, but has to be done when you're traveling around the world. So um, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you day two. <laughs> you know, I do really like these lights. I'm going to have to get some of them at home. They're pretty cool.